Welcome to HB Tuner's GM Gen 4 training part 48. This training module we're going to be exploring using the template applicator feature. The template applicator allows us to have a rapid base map generation by importing data from files that we create within the VCM editor software. This is a tremendous time saver. This is something we absolutely want to integrate in our tuning process. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this feature out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our template applicator feature in our GM Gen 4 applications. Our template applicator feature is going to allow us to have rapid base map generation using our VCM editor software. What this is going to allow us to do is take data that's been exported from one file and import it into another file. So for example, if we want to import injector data, or if we want to import map sensor data, or if we have a good volumetric efficiency table from one calibration file, we can export that data out and bring it into another stock equivalent file or another tune file from, let's say, the vehicle, and it'll allow us to speed up the calibration process greatly because we don't have to do a copy and paste function. We can simply just select files or a file that allows us to do bulk importing and bring this data into our calibration file. This is the quickest way, the most efficient way to build a base file with the HP Tuners software suite. However, it does take a little bit of legwork. So if we want to go in and create these rapid base map generation type of files, we're going to have to go in and actually import and export um, from the tune calibration files or take data that's going to be already uh, given to us. In this case, I have some data that's uh, built into the template applicator that we're going to be looking at for injector data, for map sensor data, throttle body data. So you're able to just grab those files and bring them right into a stock equivalent file or a, a modified file and allow you to overwrite the data that's in that file. And that's going to be specific to whatever the feature or function you're trying to work with is going to be. So for example, if you're trying to dial in your injector data or getting that sorted out for a new set of injectors have been installed, well, you'd have to go into the injector manufacturer's data sheet and then do that copy and paste from the data sheet, putting it into your calibration file. That process takes time. This is going to generate those changes instantly, but it requires us to have the files built already. Now, I have done a little bit of legwork for you already to get you started. We're going to take a look here in the beginning of the tutorial of how we can actually work with the template applicator feature. There's a template editor that creates the template and then the template applicator, which is what actually goes and applies the uh, the file that we create in the template editor. So the template editor is going to be the export feature. Template applicator is going to be the import feature. We're going to work. We're going to learn how we can actually build the file out, just so you can see how the process is going to go. And then you'll be able to recreate that on your end if you want to bring some specific data or create your own files. But and we'll go over what files that I provide as well. This is a really straightforward function in the software, but it is going to be a little bit tricky to get started with. So I just want to go over how to use it so um, it's going to be very clear and you're able to replicate that on your end if you want to go and work with this. I work with this all the time. I started off about a year ago um, working with the feature. I don't know exactly when it was added. Definitely it was added after the Gen 4 training course was filmed. So somewhere in the last two, three years it was added in the software and I've been heavily using it in the last year. Um, on a multitude of different platforms with HP tuners and has really sped up my calibration process. So when I get a vehicle into the shop and I want to go start off with doing a, a uh, engine control module read and if everything's stock and the car is highly modified, I know that I need to calibrate things like my mass airflow sensor or the injectors or the map sensor or the throttle body. This allows me to just take files that I've already generated and bring them right into that calibration file. It is going to speed up the process greatly so I can save let's say half or more on my calibration time by just taking redundant type of data and bringing it right into that calibration file, speeding up everything that I'm doing. So there's no real limitation of what we can accomplish with the template applicator. So for example, if you want to bring in tables such as spark timing or, or variable cam control tables or volumetric efficiency tables, you're able to do that with the template applicator. So if you have a really dialed in calibration file, you know you can't take that specific calibration file and upload it to another vehicle. There could be compatibility issues with the operating systems, but by doing the template applicator feature, it'll allow you to essentially bypass or not worry about any of those incompatibility issues. You'll be modifying and overlaying new data in that existing file that's compatible with your engine control module and your operating system. So this is a must to be able to be efficient with HP Tuner software. Let's jump in and take a look at how this is going to work. What we're going to do here is jump in and open up a calibration file. I'm going to go to File Open, and then in my Documents folder here on my PC, I'm going to go to HP Tuners, and then Logs and Tunes, 
and then here into the samples folder. Now the samples folder is a generic folder that's created when you install your VCM software suite. So this will be present for you when you're looking in the same location on your computer. Now in here, we have a, a bunch of different stock equivalent calibration files that we can take a look at. What I'm gonna do is jump down here into a 2010 Chevy Camaro E38. I'm gonna grab this particular file here. It's a Gen 4 calibration file. Let's click open and let's start to talk about this. Now, what we're gonna do here is make a couple basic changes to this calibration file. I'm gonna demonstrate how we can create a template applicator file. So how we're gonna be, we're gonna be learning how we can extract the data, doing an export function using the template editor software or feature, and then being able to create that file that we can open up and import in the template applicator. Let's go through the process here. So I'm gonna change a couple things in the, in the calibration file, and then we'll learn how we can create the base file, and then we'll learn how we can go and work with this. So let's jump in here to edit our T engine tab. I'm gonna go Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.